New details tonight about the man accused of a deadly mass shooting in a Rockford, Illinois bowling alley, but still no answers as to why. CBS 2's Marie Saavedra live with what we're learning tonight. Marie? Well, Brad, what we still don't have is that motive. Why someone would get in their car in a city they're visiting, drive to this bowling alley, and open fire on teens and men in their 60s and 70s that they do not know. But what we do have this evening is a better understanding of how this attack played out. In this photo, we see 37-year-old Duke Webb as a Green Beret, active military, based in Florida. But here, he's a man in the Winnebago County Jail, facing three counts of first-degree murder. So how did he get to Rockford? We got that answer from the state's attorney Monday. He was originally from Florida. He was here on leave visiting family. But police say Saturday night he left that gathering, ending up at the Don Carter Lanes. Witnesses say he opened fire on a table of teens on the ground floor, striking two who survived. A bullet also hit 65-year-old Thomas Furseth. Mr. Furseth began running toward the stairs when the defendant shot him in the torso. He was able to run up the stairs before he collapsed. At the top of those stairs was a bar police say was COVID compliant. And there, officers say Webb found three more victims. <laughs> Two did not survive, including 69-year-old Jerome Woodfork, a celebrated bowler who was shot near the second floor balcony before falling to the ground below. Officers arrived to the sound of gunfire and took Webb into custody. The defendant admitted to the shootings and directed officers to the locations of the firearms that he used. But why? Webb's defense attorney only said they'll look into his mental health. There are some indications of PTSD and brain injury, but he'll be evaluated by a doctor for that. Otherwise, there is no clue as to why police say Webb would choose this place and those strangers inside as his targets. Webb also faces three attempted first degree murder charges for those three people who were hit but survived. At that court appearance, the judge denied him bail, so Webb remains in the Winnebago County Jail. We're live tonight with Marie Saavedra, CBS 2 News. Marie, thank you.